And you know what else? It's just a minute past 11. You're in tune to KBOO Portland. That's KBOO to you and me. And we're also in Corvallis and Albany at 100.7 FM. And, uh, and then we're well, also what are you um, doing? <laughs> <laughs> Man, if we were on TV, <laughs> you folks at home would really I'm be skiing just, on you'd into be at the, the edge of the land. seat right now. You'd I be going, trying, wow. I was trying to get Brother Jay's attention to kind of find out maybe what pot the live band was number, on. Number Number nine. Ooh, baby, we're, number we're nine is my favorite. From pot nine. Cool. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, those of you calling and those of you not, we've got a very hot band on this evening with a wonderful woman and, and two incredible men. Please welcome, without further ado, live in KBOO's Studio 88, Caveman Shoe Store. <laughs> down and I stomped it into the ground. Yeah. 
How'd you like that? <laughs> wow. That was kind of intense. We have the fabulous band Caveman Shoe Store. Oh, I think they're good. Yep, they're done. <laughs> <laughs> Takes Mark a while to get grips with reality. He's like, don't talk, Ro, don't, don't. Don't I, say anything. I thought Fred was it's a creative the... moment. I th it's Once again, exactly... a man blows International Women's Day. A man. A man. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> a man named Mark. Hey, we've got Caveman Shoe Store coming into the studio. Shave. I'm getting cave. grilled by PDXS. I've got... Paperback roasted by Roe. box wandering around the halls. Of Wanting to take photos of just how red Mark can get. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Welcome my. to the studio's <laughs> caveman shoe people. <laughs> the Neanderthal we're, footwear we're, people. We're here, yeah. Neanderthal well, it's, foot it's a people. pleasure. It it's, is a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here, yes, indeed. So Hi. what are we going to, how about if we introduce ourselves, maybe collectively, personally around the room, with the woman first. My name's Carolyn Warner. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> I'm sorry. My name, my name is Elaine. <laughs> Elaine. Just Elaine. Just are you having a really good time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe a little too much fun over here. I got a feeling. I'm pretty excited. Hey, you sounded really good. Oh. That orgasm thing? Yeah. I gotta tell you, darling, it worked for me. <laughs> oh yeah. My uh, my name is Henry, and uh, Fred is actually p another person in this band, but he's reassembling his instrument in the other studio right he now. He broke it in the last song. Oh, did he break it? Yeah, that orgasm thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was tense. I had no idea. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you kids are scaring me. This is the first on. I don't think we've ever had anybody orgasm on the church. Yeah, well, well we've been waiting all week. Mm. 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 So let's talk Felt about up. Caveman Shoe Store. It is great, great CD, Master Cylinder. You've been getting great releases. Reviews? Reviews, yeah, not releases. It's releases. on Tim Kerr Records, right. yeah. Yeah, he's releasing it, yeah, yeah. Actually, what we just did is nothing like what's on the CD whatsoever. Except for the very end. That's the true. Orgasm? That's right. The, or mm -hmm. the yeah, very end is kind of like a, it. a real orgasm in the end. The of information the CD. overload. <laughs> yes, yeah. there is. There is a real orgasm at the end of the record. <laughs> who provided the orgasm? Um, who experienced it, or was it collective? <laughs> it was a collective group orgasm. Actually, it was doable. Yeah, doable. <laughs> <laughs> doable. Doable. <laughs> yes. Yes. And would you like to do how? Yes. Um, we play very short songs with lyrics that are under three minutes <laughs> long on the record <laughs> and what we just did is completely not representative of our record because nice. you wanted to be more creative well we just we're in this kind of we're mood, mood this yeah. yeah we're in this mood tonight <laughs> we went to this party last night and <laughs> you're still in the mood we're we we're haven't still, gotten yeah. over it yeah. yeah all of us we're still kind of there yeah so mm -hmm. is, is your art experience, I mean, is it like on the moment now, or is it like preconceived? Is your orgasm real? <laughs> did it happen? Was it, hey, did you know you I were going to orgasm kind of before you started the song? Uh, no, no. We, um, we actually thought we would just play the song with a kind of normal end. <laughs> Look at the smirk on Jay's face. <laughs> he moves me. I told you this was going to be the greatest show. <laughs> oh, this is doable. <laughs> Oh, so man. now, how long ago did you record the stuff that's on? Uh, last year, last yeah. year, so up it's until about a like, year old? well, no, April through August of last year is when we actually recorded it. And when did it come out? Just a couple December months ago. December eighteenth. Wow. So it's been out about two months, almost three, and we've sold a thousand. For how much? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, we don't get any money for it. Jeez. No, <laughs> Is there any break at 100? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking here, darling? <laughs> well, Tim Kerr Records has shipped 1,000, and they've repressed, they tell us, 500 more. So we're going to, we'll, we'll this is going to be an incredible seller, 1,500. Where, where does uh, Caveman Shoe Store generally play? 
uh, Satyricon they were when, you know, night. yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Satyricon uh, usually like, you know, when Ed Jones is there. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Big names yeah. for any particular Big reason. name. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're just trying to spread Ed's popularity. We schmooze around. you, Ed. Schmooze no, you. No, actually, not long. schmooze you. No, we would like, uh, we would like something else, Ed, but we're not going to go into that right now. I hear rumors of an orgasm. Um, <laughs> we play in Seattle. We, <laughs> we play in. Play at the off ramp. <laughs> yeah. She's fun. Yeah. I, like, I like this lady. <laughs> I told you it's a we woman gotta go thing. bowling. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, God. Bowling is doable. Oh, yeah. I love it. What, what kind of balls do you like? <laughs> big ones. <laughs> heavy, heavy big okay, ones. you're on, darling. It's you and me in the alley. 16, you name the alley. 16 pounders, the biggest ball at Grand Central. Only a man Whoa. would know that. A man would know how big the balls are, how yep. much they weigh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and how to get them in his pants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Not. Okay, let's go back to Caveman Shoe Star. Yes. The creative process. Yes, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? The creative process, <laughs> especially when it unfolds. Let's in hold such hands a kind and home, can we? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Can you back to that stuff? No, no, I'm going oh. spiritual on you. Okay. We're spiritual. actually, we're playing at the Lotus, Lotus on Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> it's on Thursday. Wow. That silence was so well timed. <laughs> hey, guy, I can tell that you guys are out. connected. We are. Yep. We are. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're playing Stick on <laughs> Thursday, the Off Ramp Friday, Friday. in Seattle, yes. uh -huh. and then we're playing the Up and Up Tavern in Bellingham, Washington off on ramp, Saturday. Up and up. Hey, that's us. <laughs> that's <laughs> cosmic good. tour, really. The future is bright. Yeah. <laughs> then we won't have any shows for a while. I think until the twenty third, which will be the Mayor's Ball. If it's still called the Mayor's Ball. On the 23rd. Back to that ball thing. Hey, big no, ball. I was going to call ball. Gary Ewing at the con. Yeah, we were going to call Gary later. Ewing at the but we don't want to, you know, confuse. Great device. Fred Chalinor, who is not being represented at this particular time because he's fixing his... Bass guitar. Yes. And amplifier and microphone. Cables. Let's talk about Jacks. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> now that he's out of the room, what's, what's it really like to work with Fred? Um... Well, it's not like anything else. He well, you a big whip. you know, <laughs> you've you've worked with him on your Rhoda X album. It's I, true. I have. He, you know, he, I have to tell you this that um, I thought he was absolutely incredible. Oh, oh. You yeah, we, and you. Yeah, we think he's <laughs> we think he's incredible too. I've um, worked with Fred on and off for sixteen years, and really, all I can say is that. I'm so twisted now, and I'm so bent that I can't work with anyone else. Oh my God! <laughs> so Drew, <laughs> that's what it's are like. You, or were you part of the history with Drew? You and yeah. Drew and Evergreen Actually, kids? Fred was the first thing Drew ever recorded, and I believe I was second or third myself. Wasn't he doing Black Flag about that time? It was pre, pre that. Pre Black Flag. This is tape recorder on the well, kitchen table. Who were the kids table. that had visible targets? Was it before visible Way targets? Before. Yes, before Way visible before. targets. Yes, we're talking... We're talking college We're days. talking Jurassic jungle music. What, what we're talking paleo have? percussion here, yeah. Evergreen, right? <laughs> Evergreen. Evergreen. We're talking... As, I, as I've said to Drew before many a time, I've known Drew so long I can remember his last girlfriend, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Henry. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. Yes. And that's a long time. I, I think show. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, have you ever thought about doing the Church of Northwest music? <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. Or maybe Henry's starring in the Mike Stern show. <laughs> Mike Stern. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk Bands, so on even bigger and better, at least technically speaking, than they already do. Now, next that's week, true. we have Magic Circle coming up from Corvallis. Hey, we're on the air in Corvallis. That's 100.7 FM in Corvallis. And then on the 21st, we have Shaky Mary. And then coming up on April 4th, my birthday performance show. I'm not performing, but it's my birthday. Well, maybe I will perform. You will perform. Anyway, Funnelhead, formerly Prairie School. On your birthday. Is coming up to be my birthday band. Very and I'm cool. a happy kid. So here we go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, live in Studio 88, Caveman Shoe Store.